I'm at the home of hoarder Richard Van Cleef. We've been called by his loved ones who want to share in real time the pain caused by their father's hoarding and what they hope will be his first steps toward healing. Hi, Richard. Hi there. Uh, how nice are you, to see sir? you. Well, thank you for letting me into your house. Um, yes. I will say, what, what the amount of accumulation that I see here concerns me. Um, is this a can of gasoline that I see? Yes, it is, sir. A half full can of gasoline. That yeah. seems hazardous, doesn't it? Well, it is. Yeah. Can we Pretty walk high. a little further? Sure. Okay. So we're walking down here and... Um, yeah, I have a bathroom to the right this here. This is the bathroom on the right. Which I can't use too much because so, I have a bathtub full of junk. Yeah. Now, wh why is there a coffee maker and a toaster oven in your bathroom? That's the only way I could cook inside if it was raining and snowing. Wait, so, so let me cold. just make sure. So you cook in the bathroom? At times, yes. And where do you go to the bathroom? Right here. So you go to the bathroom and you cook in the same place? Yes. Okay. Now, I noticed that you've got two dead mice in the toilet. Do you yep. know what that's about? Did you notice that? No, I didn't. Okay. Do you have a pest problem in the house? Well, apparently I must have. There's two mice in there, yeah. Yeah. Richard. Excuse me. I'll tell you, to my eye, this looks very serious. I mean, I, I, I worry about you. Richard, your children are here because they have some things they want to say to you in the hopes of making your life better, in the hopes of making the family's life better, and I hope that you can listen to this. I wrote a letter because it was easier. Sure. Um, Dad, first I want you to know that we all care very much about you, which is why we are all here. The way your house is, is not okay. The bathroom is so bad you can't even use it. You can't bathe, and you carry the smell of your house with you. When you get in my car, I have to put a towel down so the smell doesn't stay in my seats. You may be used to it, but nobody else is. I care about you, and I don't want you to live like this. Wow, thanks, Connie. What I'm hearing is that the clutter, the stuff, is getting between you and your family. And that makes me wonder for you, Richard, what's more important to you, your family or your stuff? No, my family. Your family? Yes, and I understand, and I feel bad about the whole program because I've been years of uh, putting up with this and I, I hate it with a passion. 